Up to Blender 3.6, the modifier's menu looks like this. But since Blender 4, it looks like this with submenus. Many people hated this change and I can see how it breaks your muscle memory. Personally, I did not dislike it that much and I actually found a way to work fast with the new menu. But if you want your old menu back in Blender 4, 4.1 and so on, you can have it using a free add-on. We'll check out the add-on. Before we do, here is how I work with the new menu and why I kind of like it. Okay, so this is Blender 4, 4.1. So if I want to add a modifier, I have to click here and then let's say that I'm looking for subdivision. I have to know that it is under generate and then look for it, right? That is what people don't like. However, instead you can click on the button and you have a search button, but you don't even have to click on the search. You can just start typing, for example, sub D, press enter, done. Next, S O L. Solidify, done. Next, bev, bevel, done. So for experienced users who know the names of the modifiers, this is a very fast workflow. It is actually faster and easier than the old one. Right, in 3.6, we could open the menu and use keyboard keys to quickly add a modifier. For example, A for array, B for bevel. However, Boolean does not have a shortcut. In some cases, it is the first letter but in other cases, it is the last letter or there is no shortcut at all. Okay, I like the new workflow. You know, the hair modifiers, which were added in 4.0, have sub sub menus, which are very hard to reach. But if I just start typing something like fizz, I can get the fizz hair curves modifier right away. Okay, so this works for me, but you are not convinced you want your old menu back. Fine. The add-on comes from Blue Nile 3D and they recently released the Lazy Bones add-on, which is absolutely mind-blowing. You can create these simulations from geometry, which ultimately turn into curves, which are then transformed into bones that you can rig your character with. So absolutely mind-blowing tech, but anyway, let's go back. And the add-on that we are looking into this time is Old Mod Menu. On Blender Market, it actually costs 50 cents, or you can pay more if you like. If you want to get it for completely free, you can go to the Gumroad page. I'll share both links and you can get it for free. And for 51 cents, you actually get a slightly advanced version, but both will do the trick. All right, so let me install the add-ons. First, I'll check out the completely free version. Install the add-on, activate it, and it gives you this menu exactly as the old one. And it is below the built-in add modifier button, so you can have both. And you have the old shortcut, so I can press A for array and B for bevel and so on. So yeah, perfect, it works. It even comes with advanced features, you can add your favorites. So for example, let's say that you use subdivision all the time. You can just add it to this list and access it very quickly. Very cool. So I think that's all there is about the add-on. So I'm going to disable this one and let's try the 50 cents, 51 cents version. And this one has a lot of options. But other than that, it is basically the same thing. Let's check out the options. You can actually make the button size bigger. There are different styles of menus. T menu. Hmm. Oh, T menu. So it's over here. Interesting. You can place it on the header of the 3D viewport. Okay. And status bar. Okay, right here in the bottom. So I'll reset it to the default menu and default size. And let's see, we can actually uncheck specific modifiers. So let's uncheck modify. And this type of modifiers will be completely gone from the menu. 
or you can disable specific modifiers. For example, let's say I never use edge split, I can remove it and it won't be on the menu. And again, you can add modifiers to your favorites. Let's add subdivision and it will appear here. And we also have another concept of stacks, which I believe can become groups of modifiers. Um, so for example, let's try to add mesh cache, normal edit, and weighted normals to this first stack. Go here, click on stack one. Oh, cool. So it allows you to apply a set of modifiers with a single click. That is cool. And you can name your stack. Cool function. And the name will change over here. Okay, that's it. If you want to discover additional add-ons, I recommend my own directory. This is addons.cgdive.com. And on this site, I try to really organize Blender resources in a way that makes sense, in a way that you can rely on. So if you go to the mockup and retargeting section, all you'll find is mockup and retargeting, unlike most marketplaces where things are kind of all over the place. So addons.cgdive.com. I don't have the modifiers menu add-on listed yet because I haven't created the UI category yet. I'm very careful with the categories. It kind of takes time, but we will get there. What we do have is if I go under rigging and then new rigging paradigms, you will find the lazy bones add-on. So in this area, I think you'll find very cool add-ons that you may not know about and that add completely new functionality to Blender. Oh, and if you want me to add a new resource to the site, just go here in the menu, click on new resource and fill out the form. Okay, that's it.